Hey what's up guys, welcome to the Site Reviewer channel. Today I'll be taking a look at the TC Electronic Impact Twin Firewire Audio Interface. As always feel free to subscribe to the channel to catch my latest product reviews. The TC Electronic Impact Twin is a Firewire audio interface that is compatible with both PCs and Macs. They include a Firewire 400 cable to go with the interface and also a Firewire 800 adapter which will allow you to connect the interface to computers such as a MacBook Pro. They also include a power supply and the Ableton Live 8 Lite music application which is also compatible with both PCs and Macs. The drivers that are also included have a control panel with features such as a reverb and different audio settings. It looks quite complicated but you will most likely get a full hang of it within a few days. The interface is a lot bigger than I expected and it's also quite lightweight which makes it ideal to travel with. The exterior of the interface is made out of plastic with this very nice rubbery matte finish. At the bottom are four very soft rubber feet which definitely ensure that the interface is not going to start moving around on your desk. At the back are a lot of connections. Starting from the left you have the power switch, the power input, a couple of optical connections, two Firewire 400 ports, MIDI in and MIDI out, SPDIF, four standard output ports for monitors, and four input ports for external equipment. At the front are two channels. They both have an XLR and a quarter inch combo port. And both of the XLR ports can apply 48 volts of phantom power to your condenser microphone. Also on both channels is a small switch which can boost the input level by 20 decibels. Both channels have their own metering LEDs and gain knobs which are used to adjust the input level. The third knob that you see here is an adjust knob that serves multiple purposes. It is used to externally control four different functions. Compression on channel 1, compression on channel 2, reverb and the DAW mix input. Pressing the knob will enable or disable the effects and the small button on the right side will switch between which effect you want to change. All of these effects can also be adjusted using the control panel. Finally, you have two quarter inch stereo headphone outputs with a volume knob. What I really liked about this interface when I first used it is that all of the knobs are very professionally built. They have an extremely smooth movement to them and they don't jiggle up and down at all. They also have this egg shape on them which improves grip and helps you feel where the knob is positioned. When I got the Impact Twin in the mail I was very excited. I installed the drivers, plugged it into my MacBook Pro using the included Firewire cable and the adapter and since then I have not experienced any problems with it. I used the Logic Studio application to test this little unit and it didn't require any kinds of settings or anything like that. Now to explain whether or not this interface is any good or not, I decided to throw everything I got at it. I had a lot of tracks running in Logic with CPU hungry plugins. And no matter what I did to this little interface, it was not gonna give up. After trying to overwrite the unit with a lot of audio tracks and instruments, I gave up. The Impact Twin was able to handle it all without breaking a sweat. To be honest, I was really surprised with how amazing this little unit is and the fact that it is quite affordable. I mean, don't get me wrong, this interface is not cheap, but there are tons of interfaces that are a lot more expensive than this. The Impact Twin has the build quality and the light weight, so it's ideal to travel with. You can connect mixers to it, you can connect it to professional PA systems so it works as a live interface for bands or DJs. You can use it like I did in a home studio or in a semi-pro studio. And here's also a fun fact. If you do a Google image search for good Firewire audio interface, the Impact Twin appears two times at the very top of the page. What I also noticed was that TC Electronic did an amazing job of making sure that the interface is properly grounded by including a grounded power supply and the cable itself has a little piece that prevents static electricity. That really helps removing the annoying hissing noise that you sometimes hear when you're recording with some cheap interfaces. You can't boss power the interface from your computer 
but I would still recommend that you keep it plugged into a power source. If you're looking for an amazing audio interface for your studio or for your live setup, this is something that you want to check out. I will end this review with a recording that I made using a microphone connected to the Impact Twin YXLR. So like I mentioned, I am now speaking through a dynamic microphone that is connected to the Impact Twin using the XLR connector on channel 1 at the front of the interface. The recording is completely unedited, no compression, no EQ, no noise removal. This is what I can call a quality audio interface, and I cannot express how amazing this little unit is. I can almost say that it's built like a tank. So I hope Hope you have enjoyed my review of the TC Electronic Impact Twin Firewire audio interface. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel to catch my latest product reviews. If you would like to find out more about this amazing little unit, head on over to TC Electronics website. You can find the link to it in the description below. I'd also like to thank TC Electronic for sending me this over for this review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.